Okay, so here we are in section 5.3. In this video, we're going to be going um, through questions 24 to 29. Okay, so starting at 24, factor the following using um, ax squared plus bx plus c, where a does not equal one method. Okay, so starting at 24, so we have um, this this equation, there we go, <laughs> where the first one is not one. So we can't just use the simple of, um, you know, what factors of 40 is going to equal 21. We can't do that in this case. Um, what we need to do is we actually need to multiply um, the first by the last um, and then find factors that equal 21. So for um, this one, we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to do 40 times 2, which is going to equal 80. And then from there, we're going to try and find um, some factors that equal each other. So we can go ahead and try a couple of them. Um, I would suggest maybe, um, let's see, 4. No, that doesn't work. If we do 80 divided by 5, that equals 16, which does work. So 5 and 16 would work if both of these are negative, because negative numbers are going to um, add up to be 20, 21 there. Um, so then what we can do is we actually put negative 5 and negative 6 in where the negative 21 is. So we can write this out again and we do 2s squared minus 5s minus 16s plus 40. So it doesn't matter um, which order you put the 16 or the, or the negative 5, it'll come out with the same answer. Um, then we're just going to go ahead and group these. So I'm going to group them here. Um, so then you just see what can we factor out here. So factoring this first parenthesis, um, it looks like only an s will come out. So we can do s, and then what is left over is 2s minus 5. And that's as far as we can simplify that one. Then coming over here to negative 16s plus 40, um, we can go ahead and divide out an 8 from both of those, I believe, which is true, yep. So if we divide, uh, if we get a negative 8 out, because that negative's out front, um, we can have negative 8. And then it would be 2s minus 5 inside, which is exactly what we want. We want these two parentheses to equal each other. Um, so since they equal each other, we can go ahead and factor them out of this equation. And what we're left with is 2s negative 5 and then s minus 8. So remember, we just go with what's in front of those parentheses as our other parentheses. And that is how you factor um, with beginning something other than what you want. Okay, so then going on to 25, we have negative 6 plus 16x squared plus 20x. Um, so don't be fooled that the x is in front, uh, in the middle. What we can do is we can go ahead and rearrange them. So I'm going to bring that 16x squared, or actually, I'm just going to bring the negative 6 back. So we just have, um, let me get an eraser. So what we have is 16x squared plus 20x uh, minus 6. Now, if you recognize, all of these are actually even numbers. So what can actually um, help us and make our lives easier is if we divide each of these by 2. It will simplify everything and make it so much easier. We just have to remember the 2 at the very end. So we can go ahead and pull out a 2. And what we're left with is 8x squared plus 10x minus three. And then we're gonna go ahead and just deal with what's inside the parentheses here. So we're gonna multiply the eight and the negative three, which is gonna equal negative 24. And then what can, add, what can add up to positive 10 using a negative 24? So this means that one of them has to be negative and the other has to be positive. Um, so if we do this, we can, see that what we probably want is a negative 2 and a positive 12 because um, 2 times 12 is going to equal 24 and if we add these together that's going to equal a positive 10. 
So then we're going to do what we did in this first one, where we're going to do 8x squared minus 2x plus 12x minus 3. Now what we're going to do is just go ahead and group, group them together, and then pull out what we can. So we can probably pull out uh, 2x from both of these. So if we go 2x, um, what's left inside is going to be 4x and then minus 1. Again, we can pull out a 3 on the second one. So if we do that, we get 4x minus 1, which is exactly what we want. This is a plus there. So now what we can do is we can pull out the 4x minus 1, and then whatever is left is our other parentheses. So 4x minus 1, and then 2x plus 3. And then remember, we pulled out a 2 at the very beginning, so that needs to go right out front here. And then that is totally factored. Okay, going on to the next one, we have two variables, which is going to be a little bit, a little bit fun. We have 5x squared and 3y squared. Um, there's nothing that we can pull out at first, so what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, multiply 5 and negative 3, which is going to be negative 15. And then to get negative 14, we have to multiply it. Well, to get negative 15, we have to multiply negative, we have to multiply 15 and negative 1. And then if we add those up, it's going to equal that uh, negative 14. Oh, whoops, my bad. <laughs> my x my uh, signs are in the wrong place. We actually need a um, negative 15 and a plus one. And then that will equal negative 14xy. Okay, so then we're just gonna um, bring that back in. So we have 5x squared minus 15xy plus xy minus 3y squared. And then we're gonna go ahead and just group them together again and pull out what we can. So for this first one, we could probably pull out a 5x so if we do that, I'm going to bring it over here. We have 5x, and then inside we have x um, minus 3y. And then for bring, what we can bring out in the second one, we can bring out a y. So we bringing out that y is just plus y. We have x minus 3y, which is exactly what we needed. So then we can pull those out. And then whatever is left is our other parentheses. So x minus 3y is our first one. And 5x plus y is our second one there. Whoops. Let me redo that line. There we go. And that's our answer for number 26. Going on to 27. Um, again, there's nothing in common with all of these. So we can go ahead and just multiply the first and the last together. <clears throat> so 7 times 8 is going to be 56. And now we have to figure out what two numbers of 56, what two numbers multiplied by to make 56 is going to make a negative 30. Um, so in this case, they both have to be negative because you're working with a positive number, but you're adding it up to a negative number. So both of them have to be negative. Um, and then we're just going to go through and see what we can find. So 56 divided by 2 we get two and 28. So there's our numbers, two and 28. So then we go ahead and just put that back in for negative 30 and we have seven y squared minus two y minus 28 y plus eight. Okay, and then we're just gonna go ahead and group them. And so in this first parenthesis, we can pull out a y and we're left with seven y minus two. And then this next one, I would pull out a negative to make this middle one negative, and then pull out a negative four, which is going to give us seven y minus two, which is what we want. Okay, and then go ahead, we can bring the, this out, you factor that out, and what you're left with is y minus four, and seven y minus two. And that's the final answer for 27. All right, and then um, 28 and 29 are going to be multiplying. So if we remember correctly, um, all we have to do to multiply is we have to multiply um, the first to the first and the first to the last. 
So doing that, we have x times x, which is going to be x squared, and then x times 5, which is going to be plus 5x. And then we have negative 5 times x, because we're doing um, the middle ones and then the end and the end. So we have negative 5 times x, which is negative 5x, and then negative 5 times 5, which is negative 25. Okay, and then when we do that, we realize that when we simplify, our x's are just going to cancel and make zero. So our final answer is just x squared minus 25. And that would be the final answer for 28. We're having 29. We have a plus b, a plus b. Remember that that squared is going to turn this into two equate, like two parentheses, it's not multiplying in because we have that addition sign there. Um, so we have to make two separate ones. And then we do the same thing that we did with the first one, where we're going to multiply the first, multiply the first in the end. So a times a is a squared. a times b is just ab, so plus ab. And then we're going to multiply the middles and then the ends. So um, b times a is just going to be, again, ab. And then b times b is going to be um, b squared. Okay, and then when we simplify this, the a, b's can go ahead and be um, added together. And we'll have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And that is the final answer for number 29.